Today I'm going to be having a look at the new old kid on the block and that is Derek Blonson Bronson. Now ever since he's changed teams and changed his hair colour, he has been a different type of savage. But the question is where does he go from there and that's what I'm going to have a look at today. So before we jump into the video, please drop a like, a subscribe and the little bell icon as well so you're up to date with all the videos which we churn out relentlessly on YouTube as if you're a subscriber you should know this by now. But anyway, jumping into the video. so. After Derek Brunson's impressive win on Saturday against Darren Till via rear naked choke, and if you haven't watched that, sorry for the spoilers, it sort of asks the question now, where does he go from here? Because obviously we know the last thing we saw of Derek Brunson is he was in the face of the camera screaming for Israel Adesanya, which I love, which I think more people should just do that. Why not? But we know that he wanted that fight. So where does that sort of leave him? Well, we obviously know at the moment we've got Israel Adesanya at the top with Bobby Knuckles. Now that's the fight to make for the sort of the title fight. We know that that's almost set in stone, but we've got two questions outside of that. We've got Jared Cannonier and we've got Derek Brunson. Ever since Brunson lost to Adesanya, he's moved to Sanford MMA. He's looked better than ever really in that sort of latter place of his career and it probably is realistically his last run at the title and he's really picking up momentum where it counts because I think he's on a fire fight tear like I said he hasn't lost since that Adesanya fight and he's made improvements every single time his ground game's got a lot better his ground and pounds were vicious I imagine working with Gilbert Burns every day is probably why his jits game has got a little bit better and as we saw that when he sinked in that rear naked choke and he's training with Henry Hoof every day, so his hands are only improving as well. So it's an interesting question for Brunson because we naturally as fans probably don't want him to see... We're in a difficult place as fans because does he deserve the title shot? He probably does, yes. Is he going to get it? Probably not, just because... Well, not at the moment at least, because the last thing we sort of know of Brunson against Adesanya, because that's the conversation we have in... Adesanya dealt with him pretty handedly and he's only gone on to make improvements and if you could say anything in the detriment of Brunson you could say he slowed down a little bit but where Kananir enters this conversation is obviously he's had a little bit of a layoff he beat Gastelum and now wants to be in that title pitcher which is fair enough and I think he does deserve to be there but obviously Brunson nicks on the activity so Jared Cannonier came out in his last win and said he needs to fight again. He's broke. We know he had that sort of whole fighters pay dispute over that around the media as well. But Brunson even came out and said, I'm not broke. I don't need to fight again. But what I think could potentially happen, which I really hope does happen, is they fight each other as a sort of eliminator, as a precursor of who's going to fight Bobby Knuckles v Adesanya, the winner of that. And I think that's a really, really interesting way of deciding it because at the moment... I think that idea of Brunson Adesanya, especially to the UFC, is not a great one to sell. Like I said, he beat him pretty handedly last time, and Adesanya's started lapping people. So I think they probably would even want to just chuck Cannonier in there just because it's a sort of new bod, it's a new face, and he hasn't faced him before. Even though I know we're talking about that with Bobby Knuckles, but he was so good against Kelvin Gastelum that he sort of cemented his place as the number one contender and he'll go on to fight for the title. But Potentially, Jared Cannonier sneaks in just through that, but I really would love to see an eliminator between the two of them because Brunson does deserve that, and realistically, he probably does deserve to fight for the title now, and in another situation, he probably does, but the narrative doesn't quite play out, and in the marketing machine of the UFC, I don't really think that one sells as well. So I think another win under his belt, and especially a win over Cannonier, will cement it. There'll be no arguments there, but it'll be interesting to see where he goes from here. As always, you know the drill. Please drop a like, a subscribe, and the little bell icon so you stay up to date with the content and follow us on tiktok and instagram as well because like always say we pump out some content we churn it out so if you're following these pages that post once a week not on this platform if you need your daily mma fix we've got you and we're also on apple Podcasts and spotify as well so all short form and long form media that we've got on youtube coming to you via podcast so you can get our dulcet tones on the go you are welcome as always Take care of yourself. Peace.